There's a serious problem that exists in clinical trial research within the pharmaceutical industry. Clinical trial data is being corrupted by clinical research participants that abuse the system and enroll in multiple clinical trials simultaneously. This is a growing problem that threatens the integrity of research data and jeopardizes the subject's safety. No sponsor or drug manufacturer is immune to this escalating crisis. All of those involved in clinical trials know the problem exists, yet they don't have the tools to detect it or stop it. In one recent national survey of clinical trial participants, 10 to 12 percent said they have enrolled in more than one study at a time. In addition, almost 20 percent enroll in three or more studies per year, and many people are providing false information regarding their identity to gain access to a clinical trial. This issue demands immediate attention. There's growing public alarm and increasing media coverage. Recently, the Council of Data Integrity did an in-depth story on patient fraud. Here's some of what they found. I started doing more than one trial five years ago. It was easy at the time. I was doing more than one. Nobody was catching on. And so I just went with it. How much money have you made? Oh, well, I would say that it's probably been somewhere north of maybe 70, maybe 80,000. Depending on the study, I wouldn't take any medicine. Say, for example, I did a study in Boston, okay? They're not going to know that I'm doing a study in New York unless I tell them, okay? They're actually expecting you to be honest. With inhalers, it does record the puffs, but I, instead of going in my mouth, I can just go like that into the air, and nobody knows that, that I took it. I never felt guilty because they really didn't do a thorough investigation about me. Everything was by the honest system. The pharmaceutical industry has to do its part to police and protect the data and the public. They need to be proactive and remedy these safety and data issues immediately. The pharmaceutical industry has to self-regulate or onerous regulations will be imposed upon them by the government. And then the question arises, how will these professional guinea piggers be stopped without a system in place to detect them and exclude them and the phony data they provide? Is there a solution? Yes, there is. Verified clinical trials. A new revolutionary software system has been developed that prevents multiple simultaneous drug and device trial enrollment. This new system will provide the answer to a situation that plagues our industry. The software and the solution is available now and ready to use. Dr. Mitchell Efros is one of the world's leading researchers and led the development of VCT along with other experienced researchers. Their mission? To provide rapid verification regarding a research subject's enrollment status and stop dual enrollment. We have created a uh, unique identification system whereby we can verify a patient's enrollment status in a clinical trial. It is cost-effective and is an excellent return on your investment. VCT eliminates poor quality enrollees that have a poor study history and prevents costly screenings of invalid subjects. VCT reduces adverse events. VCT reduces missed visits and out-of-window visits, which is one of the most common protocol deviations. We will provide real-time screening and enrollment data to the sponsor. The sponsor will have a better idea of their current uh, screening and enrollment status uh, and know better when they are reaching their uh, enrollment uh, goals and quotas in an effort to close the study at the appropriate time. Many sites are now using it. Control the situation before it causes harm. They do need a system in place in order to, you know, correct this. I mean, because there's a lot of people doing research studies for the wrong reasons. Our goal is to ensure patient safety and provide accurate data to the sponsor in the Food and Drug Administration and ultimately provide these services to the public and, and put safe drugs and products on the market. To stop patient fraud now, contact Verified Clinical Trials on their website, verifiedclinicaltrials.com, or call 310-424-5532, or email info at verifiedclinicaltrials.com.